to have a hearing before the City of Bloomington Municipal Electoral Board for the purpose of ruling on the objections filed by Kevin S. Gerard, dated 12, December 5, 2016, at 2.25 p.m., to the nominating petitions filed by Terry Renner to be a candidate for mayor of the City of Bloomington at the consolidated primary election to be held in the City of Bloomington, Illinois, on February 28, 2017. This hearing has been scheduled pursuant to the notice served on Kevin S. Gerard and on Terry Renner by registered mail and by the Sheriff of McLean County. I'd like to introduce the members of the Electoral Board, and they are Esau Peterson right here, and Judy Green, and myself. Um, and myself, Denise Williams, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, if you have cell phones on, um, I would appreciate you either put them on vibrate or turn them off <coughs> so that the hearing can go on smoothly. If you have comments, we ask that you keep them to yourself or step out in the hallway if you need to talk to somebody because we are here to hear Terry and uh, Kevin, um, their, their concerns. So we will go ahead and ask Kevin S. Gerard to say his name, address, and telephone number where he can be reached. My name is Kevin Gerard, G-E-R-R-A-R-D. I reside at 711 East Olive, Bloomington, Illinois. And my phone number is 309-827-3854. Thank you, Kevin. Terry, we would also like for you to state your name, address, and telephone number where you can be reached. Sure. Terry Renner, 2 St. Louis Court, Bloomington, Illinois. Um, she went to code 61704 and 309-821-1057. Thank you both. Um, the first order of business for the Electoral Board is to do, adopt the rules of procedures for conducting the hearing of the objection. Judy and Esau, have you received a copy of the um, objections? Yes, we have. Or the uh, procedures? Yes. Esau received yes. his copy. Do you have any comments, additions, or deletions? No. No, Isa? No. Okay. <clears throat> then I will need a motion to accept this. I make a motion that we accept this. Okay. I second. Okay. Second. All those in favor, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. And this will be um, Exhibit A for the case of Gerard versus Renner. Okay, so this will be submitted in on file. The second is the rules for public comment and meetings of the City of Bloomington Board of Election Commission. And I will go ahead and read that. Whereas the City of Bloomington Board of Election Commissioners is a public body with authority to legislate concerning public comment at its meetings and whereas the City of Ill State of Illinois, excuse me, has amended the Illinois Open Meetings Act to include the following language. Any person shall be permitted an opportunity to address public officials under the rules established and reported by the public body. And whereas it is the best interest of the board and the public to establish rules for the orderly receipt of public comment at public meetings of the City of Bloomington Board of Election Commission. Now therefore, the following public comment rules are adopted by the City of Bloomington Board of Election Commissioners. Section 1 that the following rules shall apply to persons desiring to address public officials of the City of Bloomington Board of Election Commissioners when said officials are conducting a meeting pursuant to the Open Meetings Act. Am I going to pass? No, nope, you're good. I have a tendency to ramble, I'm sorry. Um, the individual, A, the individual public comment period for any single meeting shall not exceed 15 minutes. B, no individual shall speak for more than three minutes at any single meeting. C, no individual representing a group shall speak for more than five minutes at a single meeting. D, the chair of the meeting shall determine the order of speakers. E, individuals wishing to address a public body shall provide their name prior to making a public comment. F, the topics to be discussed must be germane to the meeting agenda of the public body. G, the chair has a right to create sui sponte and enforce re, uh, reasonable rules to 
preserve order and decorum. Pronunciation, pronoun, pronouncements prohibiting applause, cheers, booing, shouting, use of profanity, wearing of caps, use of signs, banners, or place cards, <coughs> or other pronouncements designed to preserve order and decorum. H. Persons who violate any of these rules established by the chair or otherwise disrupt order or decorum may be removed. I. The chair may suspend the rules of order to provide more public comment as deemed appropriate. Section 2. The foregoing restriction of advance notice of intent to speak shall not apply to any public hearing where the purpose of said meeting hearing is to obtain public testimony regarding an announced agenda item. Judy and Esau, have you read this? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Do you have any comments, additions, deletions? Nope. I signed no. I Okay, I need a motion, please. I make a motion that we accept these um, rules for public comment at meetings of the City of Bloomington Board of Election Commissioners. I have a second? I have so second. All those um, in favor, please signify saying aye. aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Can I have that? I'll sign it. This will be entered as Exhibit B for the case of Gerard versus Renner. Um, I want everyone to know that um, I want to make you aware that public comment will not be considered as part of the commissioner's decision. So at the end when we do have public comment, you can make your comments, but we will not um, enter that, use that for our decision. Uh, when making a decision, we will only look at the testimony from the candidate and the objector and those who are sworn under oath. Okay. Um, I need to set the, the date. Oh, the here. state. We, um, <coughs> we are going to reconvene. Um, at a later date for the um, a hearing, and that time is <coughs> um, 9.30, or excuse me, 8.30, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at too many Gerards here, I've got things here for the discovered ideas and things of what's going on. Um, hearing will be Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., December 13, 2016. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. So then we will hear testimony, evidence, everything there on Tuesday morning. Any questions, Terry? No? The only... Uh, the only question I have, different boards do it differently, probably outlined in the procedures. Are you going to accept affidavits as testimony or will you require live testimony? I think the rules, I don't hold me to this, I think the rules allow the board to accept affidavits. Uh, so that would be a decision that they would have to make at the time. Well, that's awful hard to schedule yeah, witnesses. It is. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what else I can tell you, though, because you don't know what the substance of the affidavits are at this time. Okay. I have a question. At what sure. point would, would I ask the uh, commission to vote through our rule number five? That's a good question. That has to do with the record search? Because my whole case is, yeah. it is based upon the examination of those. Yeah, I, I think you should explain evidence. to Mr. Gerard and Mr. Renner that you have scheduled a records search and how that will be done and when it's going to be done. I'd like to have the sure. observers, uh, the watchers. Right. Okay. Since I don't remember, uh, Under number, number five, five. We, we do allow watchers um, if you can't I be there. I have two. Okay. Like to point in my okay. Um, first of all, we've scheduled anticipating that we will be doing it, uh, looking right. at it. 
Yes, and so we scheduled um, Tuesday morning at 8.30. No, Wednesday morning at 8.30. <laughs> yeah. After the fact, man, from the hearing, if the hearing is on Tuesday, I think you also decided you could possibly get started on that Tuesday, Tuesday depending on depending on when we finish up the testimony from you. Then what we'll, we will do discovery. Okay. We won't make any decisions then. Okay, because my whole presentation will be predicated upon that mm -hmm. those signature right. comparisons. Okay. So what we will do is we will hear from both of you. We will hear from your um, people that you want May to make speak. An appointment yes. Sarah, for the record, you can, but we don't need those until um, Monday when we get together on Tuesday morning at, at nine o'clock. Okay. I like to make those right now when those people are here this Monday. We're just doing. Okay, I'll do that I'm, I'll do on that. Tuesday morning. Yes, okay, I'll do it on Tuesday. Thank you. It's my understanding that under the rules, each side is entitled to have two monitors. Uh, we will, we will, uh, ha I don't know who they are yet, but we will also have watchers there. Um, the plan of the franchise franchise is fine. Uh, can they, well, let me ask this. I intend to file a motion Monday. For scheduling purposes, we're just right up on top of it. Um, we can certainly, the rules allow for to hear that motion um, Tuesday before the meeting, at the time the meeting mm -hmm. starts, or even uh, before that. You could rule we're out. unavailable before that. Understand, uh, but there's no requirement that that the hearing needs to go forward if the motion is granted. We can, correct me if I'm wrong, Bob, but we can listen to it, but we can take it under advisement and we can either accept it or we can go on with the hearing. Okay. Correct? Right. Okay. I'd like to correct myself, that was rule six. Yeah, that was rule six. Mm -hmm. Rule six, mm -hmm. not rule five. Rule five has to do with the one that well, right. yeah. But I will, I will, on any motion okay. of yours, I will invoke rule five. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Just for scheduling purposes, Mr. Gerard, do you, how long do you think, if you're going to present testimony on your behalf of yourself or any witnesses, how long do you think that might take? Um, my testimony is uh, probably about maybe 15, 15 minutes as far as how we went about gathering uh, our data. Um, I don't know the mechanics of subpoenaing witnesses how I go about doing that whether I can bring them in or I have to officially go about doing that to the sheriff's office or how I don't know the mechanics of that, how to do that. Um, do you anticipate having other witnesses beside yourself? I have two. Okay. The people that help me. Okay, I'll gather this data. So based on that it's and then depending upon how much testimony or uh, Mr. Renner might have in this case. I'm just trying to get an idea as to whether or not that record search might be able to get started Tuesday right. morning. That record search will involve well, quite a bit of records. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how much? I don't until we see what, uh, what the plaintiff or petitioner has by way of evidence. I, I will say this, I mean, with the record search being scheduled the day after the hearing, that's no problem because I, I will object to the record search based upon the burden of proof and, and that sort of thing. You don't just get a record search because you file an objection. Uh, there's a minimum burden of proof you have to meet first. So I would move or, or, or uh, make the request that the, the board not look at, not do a record search before Wednesday morning. We aren't. Okay, there was some suggestion that maybe you could get started on a Tuesday morning. After uh, the testimony was in, yes. Okay. That's, but not, not before that. We, we have to listen to what everybody has to say before we can do anything. So, no, we weren't planning on doing anything prior to that. Okay, I just want to make sure the record's no. clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we are going to 
recess and reconvene on Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. And do both of you have the copy of the rules and the copy of the public comments? Okay. And for those out in the audience, if you want to look at the rules or public comment, it is out on the website. Yeah. Huh? How about was on the agenda? Mm -hmm. How about comment was on was the agenda? Was it? Yeah. Can we tell him? What are they searching? What are they going to search? Mm -hmm. That's right, though. Yeah. yeah. Pretty bizarre. You're done. Thank you so much. And you much. said in here that you may object. Can some? Well, I'm going to check to a record search. This is not going to say. He's been so are we going to be here on the Tuesday? Yes. 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 We don't do public comment. We're done. Not done Again. with the recess. Oh, yeah, we just recessed. Yeah. Um, there. Uh, so, the public comment is at the end of the night. Yes, that's not mine. Okay, mine is. Yeah, I know the one. He was married to Tom, or brothers of Tom, or his dad was a. Yeah. Thank you. When you're Tom, you said hi. When you go to Holy Trinity, you just know all the awards. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I can shut it off.